Pick one platform and become the GOAT in that platform. G-O-A-T. That stands for greatest of all time. You want to be the GOAT in that industry. So your goal is whatever that platform is, pick it. Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it Clubhouse? Is it TikTok? Is it YouTube? Is it LinkedIn? Is it name whatever platform you want to name, but pick one and don't allow yourself. Stop giving yourself excuses, you know, saying, I don't, I don't have an audience. Nobody knows me. Well, listen, nobody knew me when I first started. Every single person who you admire out there, they started with zero. We all start, there is, listen, ground zero is very real. Ground zero doesn't care about the color of your skin, your accent or what you look like. Ground zero is where everybody begins. Passive income or making passive income is all the rage right now and for good reason. I mean, who doesn't want money when they're in the shower or when they're asleep or when they're picking up their kids or in the park with their children? Who doesn't want money coming in? One of my favorite ways to create passive income is by creating digital products. And so on this channel, I've been talking all things digital products for the past couple of months and you do not want to miss any of those videos. Today, however, is Q&A Friday and today I answer a question that was either posted on YouTube, on Facebook or Instagram or any platform where we hang out and we have some great questions for Q&A Friday this entire month. But before I dive in, if it is your first time coming to my channel, then welcome. I'm Pamela Bassett, the founder of The Lucrative Lady and on this channel, I talk all things sales, sales systems, social media and strategy. In fact, my one goal on this channel is to help you to make a bucket load of money. And today's video is going to help you to do just that. I've often shared that creating digital products absolutely changed my entire business. This is how I started to make money online. In fact, the very first digital product that took off, I made $65,000 in 35 days, which in pounds, I don't know, is around 60,000 pounds or something like that. But in 35 days, that's more money than I had ever seen in my whole entire business life. Now for that money to come in in 35 days, it blew my mind. And I knew that uh, this was a strategy that number one, I would keep doing and number two, I wanted to make sure that every woman had this amazing passive income stream. So today's video, I'm answering a really important question that has come off of the back of some of the videos that I have been publishing. And that question is this, how does one sell digital products with a minuscule audience or virtually no audience? Another one that came in similar question, it says you need an audience before you can sell digital products. Um, so what would you say to those that don't have one? Okay. So I want to break it down. First of all, you need an audience before you can sell digital products. So what would you say to those who don't have one? Do you need an audience to sell anything? Yes, you do. People need to know you, like you and trust you in order to buy from you. Having an audience basically means that you have people who know you. Now, when it comes to this is a power packed question, because a lot of people um, uh, fail at the beginning of their journey into creating digital products or running a business online because their mind says, I have no audience. Nobody knows who I am. What I want to encourage you to do is to reverse that into saying, well, I need to build my audience, right? Because there's no shortcut. There's no, um, there's no magic wand. There's no fasting and praying and boom, an audience will appear. No, you just got to do the work. So the real question should be, Pam, how do I build an audience the fastest way possible? Because yes, you need an audience in order to sell a digital product, sell a coaching program, sell a physical product. Whether you're an MLM, whether you're a hairdresser, whether you're a coach, it doesn't matter what you do. You need an audience and audience are people. The beautiful thing about the online space right now is that building an audience is so simple these days. It is crazy, right? It is just incredibly simple. So this should be what the real question is. So I want to give you a couple of strategies or tips when it comes to building an audience fast for your digital product, for your Etsy store, for anything that you are um, going to be putting out into the, in the market in the next three months, 90 days, six months, whatever it is that you are going to be using in terms of a time span. Number one, when it comes to building an audience is pick one platform to begin with. Pick one platform and become the GOAT 
in that platform, G-O-A-T. That stands for greatest of all time. You want to be the GOAT in that industry. So your goal is whatever that platform is, pick it. Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it Clubhouse? Is it TikTok? Is it YouTube? Is it LinkedIn? Is it name whatever platform you want to name, but pick one and don't allow yourself. Stop giving yourself excuses, you know, saying, I don't, I don't have an audience. Nobody knows me. Well, listen, nobody knew me when I first started. Every single person who you admire out there, they started with zero. We all start. There is, listen, ground zero is very real. Ground zero doesn't care about the color of your skin, your accent or what you look like. Ground zero is where everybody begins. The difference between those who are really killing it in this industry, you know, wh- you know, whilst having a business online and those who aren't, is that they said, well, ground zero is just the level that I'm at and I need to get to level one, then level two, then level three. Now, what does that look like? You figure out that one platform and then step two is that you devour that platform. What does it mean? It means that you wanna learn everything that you can about that specific platform. Let me give you an example. When it comes to Instagram, for example, a lot of people don't realize that Instagram or Facebook or any platform you can think about, it has micro platforms within it. So Instagram, for example, some of the micro platforms inside of Instagram are Instagram stories, that's a micro platform. Instagram reels, that's a micro platform. IGTV, that's a micro platform, right? There are so many micro platforms. Your highlights, that's a micro platform. Instagram Explore, that's a micro platform. There are so many micro platforms. You've got to understand how to work the platform, which one of these micro platforms is going to be the best at helping you to grow your audience, right? If you're thinking about Instagram, a tip for you is Reels. Definitely as a micro platform that is working really, really well right now. Step two is to understand how micro platforms work. Step three is to understand your audience and their pain points. This is so important. I've had a lot of people who have come to work with me at some point and said, Pam, I have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, but nobody's buying my stuff. Well, When you look behind the hood of their account, the people who they have on Instagram are people who are not their ideal clients. So it's not about how many people you have. It's not about, you know, having hundreds of thousands of audience. In fact, when I first created my very first digital product, I was a nobody. Nobody knew who I was. I didn't have, you know, a big massive Instagram following. Right now we have just over 15,000. I didn't have that when I first started. I started at zero like everybody else. But One thing that I did do, right, and I'm recommending that you do whatever platform you choose, is that you build your platform. You grow it for a specific type of person. This means that your messaging is for that specific person and that specific pain point. Every content you create really targets that specific person. It means that whilst, yes, you might have a smaller following, it'll be a higher quality following. Then step four is to publish, 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 right? There's a phrase that says, ABC, always be creating. That doesn't sound right. I think I made that one up, but I'm going to stick with it because it is, it is really what I'm trying to say, right? The ABC of content marketing is always be creating. That means always be creating content all the time, right? And so publish, publish, publish. And that leads me to the final point is consistency. Consistency. If you're publishing all the time and you're consistent, people start to really, uh, what number one, your following grows. Number two, which means your audience has grown. And number three, people start to buy into your messaging because they understand understand you. They know you, they like you, they trust you. And I'm going to put in one bonus point and that is don't be afraid to sell. Don't be afraid to tell people that you have a digital product or that you have a coaching program or you know how they can find you or you, you know, you have a course or whatever it is that you have. Don't be afraid to sell. That was my way of answering the question of you need an audience before you can sell a digital product. So what would you say to somebody who doesn't have one? So there you have it. I hope you got a lot from this. I want you to comment below. Which of these tips, you know, did you like the most or which of them are you going to use or what intrigues you most about this video? I'd love to read your comments. I read every single one of them and I will be responding. Before I go, I do have a free gift for you. We have an amazing brand new digital product starter kit that I've created just for you, my lovelies. Now, inside of the digital product starter kit, 
I share with you a lot of the things that I teach concerning digital products. Number one, I teach you all of the specs and resolutions and the type of file types that you need to have in order to produce a great digital product. All of it is in there. Number two, I also talk about my top nine platforms for promoting your digital products. Etsy is just one of them. So if you're sitting there thinking, I'm just going to promote this bad boy on Etsy, listen, uh, Etsy is not heaven, right? It's not the be all and end all. There is just so much more out there and so much more money to be made. So I break all of that down inside of the starter kit. The third thing that I also break down is I give you my top 100 plus digital product ideas. Um, and I, and I promise you that you're going to find an idea in there if you are still thinking about what to create. Now, this digital product starter kit is going to be a product that people are going to pay for at some point. However, at the point of recording this video, it is currently free. So the link will be below this video. Head over there and grab it once this has finished. Before you go, make sure you check out this playlist where I share all things digital product creation in there so that you know exactly what you are doing and you can have great success. I'll see you in my next video.